Hello everybody, welcome along. Here I'm talking about SSPR, which is the self-service password reset function available you can set up for your users in your Microsoft 365 tenant. And what it means is, is that users, when they get their login prompt, they can hit, I uh, forgot my password, instead of typing that in, and it'll take them to a screen where it guides them through resetting their password based on the MFA controls they set up, like their uh, the MFA app, the authenticator app on, them, on their phone, or the phone number can send them a, a text message uh, and the like as well. So they can go through those things to prove who they are, and then they can do a password reset. And in doing that as well, uh, they can also uh, have a password reset for an on-prem a domain controller as well. So if you do have your account synced up through uh, the Entra ID Connect or through the Cloud Connect as well, it will then sync it back to the local AD as well, which is kind of handy as well. So let's take you through how we go about enabling this and setting it up for the users. So in the admin center, we go into the identity here. Let us get into the Entra ID. And you'll notice down on the left hand side under protection, is one called password reset and it really is as simple as just setting up a few things in here now i want to go through each one of these options and tell you about what they do make it a bit easier for you to understand what sort of effect they have on the users and how we would just go about configuring them so the first one is at the moment we can see self-service password reset is not enabled for anybody and we can set it up so we can enable it for all the users on a tenant or we can just have a selected few and uh, put it in a group. So we can set up a group, say in this case I've got one selected here uh, which we can go into and we can say allow SSPR which is a normal group and we've just put a few users in there. Great for testing as well. If you want to uh, restrict it to a certain number of users while you're setting up this process, having that set up is a, is a very good option. And if I go back in here and have a look at my groups that I have set up, let's go into the active teams and groups, you'll see there's one here called allow SSPR. And I only have a handful of people actually in there. And it's set up as a security group. So we go in here, allow SSPR. You'll see from a membership point of view, there are only four people in there. Like I say, great for testing purposes. So we'll leave that one there uh, for now and jump back into here. So with that selected uh, with the group, uh, we hit save there, find that through, there we go. Now, authentication methods. These are the options about what it's gonna require the user to do to be able to reset the password. And you can say, we only want to have one method or two methods. If you wanna be a bit more secure, you'd add two, but we can say we're gonna allow them to send an email, uh, a mobile phone, which is the, the normal uh, SMS or text would come through. Office phone means it will call them. Security questions, if you've still got those set up on the system, you can add those in as well. But normally this is the four that we would normally allow. And I'm gonna leave it as two items to reset. So when I do this process and actually take you through resetting a password, you can see that I can use any of these um, to allow it to do that reset. So registration, now that is really important because we can say, are we requiring the users to register for this uh, password reset? Now, when we say register for password reset, we mean, are we setting up all of the MFA requirements? Are we setting it up that they must have a phone number registered on the system? Are we enforcing that they must have the authenticator app, obviously, to do that when they sign in? If we say no, and they haven't done that in their setup, they're not gonna be able to reset their password. So you can require that uh, as an item there to say they must do that when they first sign in. It is a little bit obtrusive, if you like, to the users if they, if they aren't gonna set that up, but you could also send out comms to say, hey, go to uh, the aka.ms-mfa uh, setup and go in there and add these items in so you are able to do the self-service password reset. Whichever way you wanna handle that, completely up to you. I'm gonna leave it as no in this one, uh, but it means that anybody that hasn't done it is going to get the error when they go through the password reset saying that particular user is not capable of doing SSBR because it's all not set up. You get the idea what I'm talking about here. Now let's have a look at notifications. Uh, are we going to notify the user, send them an email once the password reset has been done? We'll say yes in this case. And are we going to tell all the other admins <clears throat> when other admins reset their passwords? I'm going to say yes on that one as well. 
and customization. Are we going to have a customized help desk link? Uh, and are we going to guide them for any help there? I'm going to say no on this one. You can put a link there if you want to explaining what these policies are. That's up to you. Uh, that's what that one's for. And obviously the on-premise integration. If we do have, you can see I do have the IntraConnect provisioning agent, the CloudSync, turned on. So yes, that is available for the password right back. So then we'd say, yes, we're going to enable password right back for synced users, and we're going to allow that through the Entra Connect. And the last option there, obviously what it says here, allowing users to unlock accounts without resetting their password. And you can see there's a little information if you want to read that. Uh, it's a nice little option if you want to set it up. I'm going to leave it off for this particular one there. But really, to be honest, that is everything we need to do. Um, really that is now enabled across the tenant for anybody that is a member of the SSPR they will be able to reset their password off of the the login screen so let's go in as our little test user our Kyber Smith uh, chap and let's uh, do a password reset and see what it makes him do when he uh, performs that task so here we are as Kyber and we're logging into the portal and we'll click on his name there Instead of just uh, putting in the password, let's suppose we have forgotten the password and we can click on this button here, forgot my password. That's going to take him straight into the, the SSPR section and we get to uh, put in the details about obviously the account. We need to do a, <clears throat> a small little capture here as well. So we'll put in the KL6NWD and let that continue. So like we had on the setup, it's saying we need to provide two of the items that are in that list. You can see there's verification step one and step two here, and it's giving us a choice. And it knows what we've got configured already on uh, his account. So it's going to ask us for two of those as we go through. So the first one will say, yes, we want to do the text on mobile phone. We can obviously jump, jump straight to like and approve the notification on the authenticator. You know what? Let's do that one first. Let's just send that notification through. Now I'll come through to the phone there and I can just quickly go and do that. Approve sign in and that will be yes, 76. There we go. OK, so that takes care of that one. That proves that we do have the authenticator app and we're able to do that. And then, of course, we're going to put in the uh, the SMS uh, side as well. Now, it's asking us to type in the phone number just to prove that we know what it is and it knows that it ends in that one six. So I'm just going to pause while I do that. I don't everybody knowing the phone number I've got here. But let me just do that and I'll hit the text button there next. So there we go. That's keyed in. So we'll put, now put in the code that it sent me like so. And now we get into the point where we can just put in a new password. Uh, so, so really, it just means that it has accepted both of those verification steps. There's our two ticks there. So we can type in what a new password would be. So let's do that. Finish there. And there we go. Password has been reset. And now we don't want to save that in there. Uh, to sign in with a new password, click here and we just go in now and do exactly that there we go job done he is back into his account uh, complete self-service reset on the password without having to contact anybody in IT to be able to do it so yeah that finishes up our session on SSPR you can see it's pretty simple to set up and pretty simple for the people to use I'd suggest that you do go and set it up with that smaller group first just to allow that smaller subset of users to be able to go in and test it and then just open it up to uh, you can open it up to the entire uh, organization if you need to but uh, thanks for watching uh, please subscribe to the channel you know I always appreciate it when you do that and we will see you on the next one thank you very much again